So, yep. so I always ask when getting into the business, um, did you have a lot of supporters, more doubters? Like, you know, I, I everyone's always mixed right in between. Um, and I'm always curious of, you know, you know, what really fueled you to, to keep going? Was it the people that, you know, cheered you up or was it kind of like that fuel of like, Oh, I got to prove them wrong. <laughs> Um, did you kind of have a lot more supporters or, or doubters? I, so my situation was a little bit different, um, because I felt like there was a lot of support, but there was always people that doubted me. Um, it wasn't the fact that they didn't think I was going to do well. It was just more that because of my background and where I came from, and like with me flying and like also me being younger, because that also played a role in it too. Yeah. Just thought I was unexperienced. Um, I felt like a lot of people would put me down and say I wasn't going to be a good realtor. Yeah. Um, and it was one of those situations to where every year I did better and better. I mean, I'm on my fifth year of real estate now and I, I'm doing some really good numbers. So it was just more about just how I really turned those people who would be negative and down to really more just proving them wrong. Yeah. How did, how did, I was young when I got into the business as well. I was 22 years old. How did you overcome for the, for the, the younger uh, realtors that, that are out there getting into the business? How did you overcome that objection, you know, or that, that doubt? Oh, you're too young. Do you really know how to sell real estate? Confident, being confident, be us uh, essentially, even because like when people meet me, and a lot of my clients are like this. When they meet me, they don't know I'm 28. They always think I'm older because I sound confident in what I say. I don't know the right answer. I will find the right answer. I don't sound shy and timid. I go directly to the point. If this is what you want, this is what we need to do. This is our offer strategy. And they, my client's mindset changes. They're not thinking of how old I am. They're like, wow, he truly understands what he's doing. Yeah. So, but when I first became an agent, I was shy and timid. So I was shy. I was scared that I would say the wrong thing and then it would mess up everything. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't also have a lot of support as a newer agent. So I feel like I was kind of like stuck, like figuring things out when I first started. So, you yeah. know, everyone messes up. I messed up as an agent. I probably lost a few clients because of me not being as experienced. But ultimately, you can grow from those mistakes. Oh, for sure. I, uh, my, my team lead, my mentor, I've been with him since day one of my career. And, um, he is very, he's good with, with building relationships and rapport and, and he can talk in and out of a conversation. Right. And I was like, just trying to mimic that. And yeah. I'm not that person. <laughs> so, so I learned, I learned the hard way after a couple of times where I had to be like, Oh, Hey, remember, I just told you this, uh, actually it's the complete opposite. So, and then I started just to, just to look bad. Right. And I, so then I just got to the point of like, look, I'm just going to tell you if I don't know, I am new to real estate or I'm newer to real estate, but if I don't know, I'm just going to tell you. And, and I found with that 99% of, of my clients respected that, right. Hey, I'm glad that you were honest with me. You didn't try to, to BS your way through, you know, that situation or whatever the case may be that conversation. Um, and you just told me, Hey, I don't, you don't know. And you'll, you'll figure it out and find out. And, and that's, that's really true because when I first became a new agent, I would think that I needed to know all the answers Yeah. and it didn't matter what I was doing. I was all like, I, you know, just wanted to sound like I knew what I was talking about. Yeah. And, um, there was a, there comes a time where, you know, sometimes you just don't know and a client's going to respect you if you say, Hey, I don't know what the, the answer is right now, but I am going to go out of my way. I will find you the exact answer and I will get back to you as soon as possible. They will respect that way more. Um, even as a newer agent, like I was so excited for my first deal. Like I sold land. This is my first deal. Is That's it your first deal? Land. <laughs> and I, I got a call from this guy. Uh, he wanted to go look at some land in Grove city. Um, anyways, uh, ended up, he wanted to ride on it. I was so excited. I was like, I was like, I'm getting my first deal. It's been on the market for a while. I was like, this is great. Um, and well, the moral of the story is that like I used a residential purchase contract and didn't use a land contract to start. So then I had to like go back in and explain all this. Like, had to have him sign it twice and like give me a lot of pushback, but then, you know, and especially like selling land as your first transaction is not like easy. <laughs> 
So, uh, but I grew from it because, you know, there's a lot of things I didn't know, especially during that first transaction. And I had to really find out and learn what I needed to know to sell this land. Uh, now you can sell, I can sell land anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not hard. But yeah. that first transaction, and that was my first transaction, was I the fact that I didn't even sell a house. I sold land, and then I ended up selling houses after. But there was a lot of twists and turns. I messed up. I wasn't confident in what I did. I did mess up during that entire transaction. Um, but I told my confidence, or my uh, clients I was brand new. And yeah. um, I, I, you know, this is my first time doing this and they respected it. And then yeah. you know, they gave me a little backlash on a couple of things, but they still respected me. So, yeah, no, that's awesome. It's like, welcome to residential real estate. I'm going to sell land. <laughs> hey, you got to get the job done. So. <laughs> All right. For sure.